Welcome to the Action Movie Digest from Budimate. In the third episode, we will talk about action movies released in February this year that you were waiting for and some you probably never heard of. From the bloodthirsty vampires and misguided vigilante to the quantum realm, Viet Cong infested tinnels, and a comedy version of John McClane classic. We have 21 films and TV shows to talk about. Let's go! B for Vengeance movie is directed by Kelly Hallahan and starring Jocelyn Houdin and Grace Van Dien. After learning that their younger sibling escaped an earlier kidnapping attempt that also killed their parents, two estranged sisters must join forces to rescue her from a group of bloodthirsty vampires. Deleted is the new Malaysian action movie starring Henley Hyai, Hu Renshu, and Rosium Noor. The story starts with a Malaysian police detective Chi Ajongi in his desperate search for his daughter Hazel who was being kidnapped by child traffickers. He unintentionally caused grievous hurt to a male suspect in a moment of rashness. As a consequence of his actions, he was convicted and sentenced to three years in prison. Nevertheless, he never gave up hope in finding his daughter. Exploiting his status as an ex-convict, he infiltrated the crime syndicate and befriended a human trafficker ghost to find out about his daughter's whereabouts. As Good As Dead is a new action movie starring Michael J. White, Tom Berenger, and Louis Mandiller. The film is directed by R. Ellis Frazier who is mostly known as a producer of such movies as Seized with Scott Adkins and Rumble with Gary Daniels. Brian befriends a troubled teen and introduces him to martial arts. As Brian's mysterious and dangerous past catches up to him, he is forced into a life and death struggle to clear his name, save the boy, and get back all he left behind. Operation Fortune is a spy action comedy directed by Guy Ritchie and starring Jason Statham, Hugh Grant, Josh Hartnett, and Carrie O. Wes. It was originally scheduled for release on January 21, 2022 but was pulled by studio. In February 2023, Lionsgate Studio bought the U.S. distribution rights to release on March 3, 2023. Special Agent Orson Fortune and his team of operatives recruit one of Hollywood's biggest movie stars to help them on an undercover mission when the sale of a deadly new weapons technology threatens to disrupt the world order. Last Resort Movie is directed by Gene Mark Minio and starring Jonathan Patrick Fu who known for his roles in Rush Hour TV show, Tekken, and Street Fighter, Legacy. The film tells the story of a former Special Forces soldier who becomes a one-man army when his wife and daughter are taken hostage during a bank robbery. Detective Knight. Independence is the third film of the series about police detective played by Bruce Willis. The film has a budget of $15 million. Detective James Knight, his last-minute assignment to the Independence Day shift, turns into a race to stop in and balance ambulance CMT from imperiling the city's festivities. The misguided vigilante, playing cop with a stolen gun and uniform, has a bank vault full of reasons to put on his own fireworks show, one that will strike dangerously close to Knight's home. Out of Exile is a new action film starring Peter Green and Ryan Merriman. After a botched armored car robbery, a recently per old thief tries to balance his life and mend a troubled family as a determined FBI agent hunts down him and his crew. Hidden Blade Movie is directed by Er Cheng and starring Tony Leung, Lei Huang, and Yibo Wang. Follows the story of underground workers who risk their lives to send intelligence and defend the motherland, set after Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor when the Wang Jingwei regime declared war on Britain and the US. Little Dixie is the new movie starring Frank Grillo, Annabeth Gish, and Eric Dane. Erstwhile Special Forces operative Doc Alexander is asked to broker a truce with the Mexican drug cartel in secrecy. When Oklahoma Governor Richard Jeffs celebrates the execution of a high-ranking cartel member on TV, his chief of staff and Doc inform him about the peace he just ended. But it's too late, as Cuco, the cartel's hatchet man, has set his vengeful sights on Doc's daughter Dixie. The Locksmith is the new film starring Ryan Phillip, Kate Bosworth, and Bing Rames. A thief fresh out of prison tries to work his way back into the life of his daughter and ex-fiance. Determined, he is forced to use the skills he has as a gifted locksmith. Things take a tumultuous turn after an unexpected disappearance. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is the third movie of a franchise about Ant-Man from Marvel Studios. The first movie has been released in 2015 and grossed over $519 million. 
The second movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, was released in 2018 and grossed over $622 million. With a budget of $200 million, the third film has grossed only $273 million, which can make it another failed flick about superheroes. Starring Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer, Bill Murray, and Jonathan Majors. Scott Lang and others explore the quantum realm, where they interact with strange creatures and embark on an adventure that goes beyond the limits of what they thought was possible. Ambush movie starring Jonathan Rhys Myers, Aaron Eckhart, and Connor Paolo. The thrilling true story of a U.S. military suicide mission through miles of enemy Viet Cong infested tunnels. American forces are trapped on the edge of no man's land, facing danger amid a maze of tunnels as they pursue the Viet Cong far below ground before a deadly secret can be exposed. Die Hard. The movie is a new action comedy starring Kevin Hart, John Travolta, Gene Reno, and Josh Hartnett. This is not another John McClane movie. This is a flick from comedian Kevin Hart that serves as a full-length version of the TV show of 2020. Follows a fictionalized version of Kevin Hart as he tries to become an action movie star. He attends a school run by Ron Wilcox, where he attempts to learn the ropes on how to become one of the industry's most coveted action stars. The ninth and final season of the American superhero television series The Flash from DC. The first season was released in 2014. This season consists of 13 episodes broken into at least two graphic novel storyline arcs. Scientist Barry Allen acquires super speed through a freak accident and becomes known as the fastest man alive in this adaptation of the DC Comics character The Flash. Django is a new TV show from France starring Matthias Schoenaerts, Numi Rapace, and Nicholas Finnick. Follows Django, a gunslinger in the Wild West who is searching for his daughter who he believes escaped the murder of his family eight years ago. The third and final season of TV series Star Trek. Picard features Jean-Luc Picard during the 25th century as he reunites with the former command crew of the USS Enterprise, who are being hunted by a mysterious new enemy, Vatic. Starring Patrick Stewart, Michelle Hurd, Alison Pill, the season premiered on the streaming service Paramount Plus and is running for 10 episodes. The Night Manager is a new Indian TV show. Follows Shan Sengupta, an ex-soldier who must infiltrate an arms dealer's inner circle to bring down his empire of war. Ganglins returns for the second season. The new French crime drama series which dropped on Netflix is about a robber and his apprentice getting deep into a turf war between the law and drug dealers. Six episodes were released as part of season one. Mehdi, a qualified robber, and Liana, an apprentice thief, get involved in a turf war between drug dealers and have to collaborate in order to save their loved ones. Carnival Row returns for a second season after four years. The fantasy show, starring Orlando Bloom and Cara Delevingne, came out in 2019. It takes place in a city called The Burg, where an influx of human-like beings named Phi are cast to the margins of society in what's ultimately a story about life in the shadow of xenophobia. Magnum P.I. returns on NBC for the fifth season after CBS canceled it. Starring Jay Hernandez, Perdita Weeks, and Zachary Knighton. This is a modern take on the classic series of the 80s with Tom Selleck centering on Thomas Magnum, a decorated former Navy SEAL who, upon returning home from Afghanistan, repurposes his military skills to become a private investigator. Blacklist, which started in 2013, returns for its 10th and final season. Starring James Spader, Megan Boone, and Diego Kladdenhoff. A new FBI profiler, Elizabeth Keene, has her entire life uprooted when a mysterious criminal, Raymond Reddington, who has eluded capture for decades, turns himself in and insists on speaking only to horror. It was the third episode of the action movie digest from Boo Demate. Let us know in the comments which films and TV shows you have already seen and which one you never heard of. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one. And don't forget to turn your brain off and enjoy the action. You see that man right there? Do you remember him?